The verdict of the Kyle Rittenhouse trial sending shockwaves across the United States, even here in Jacksonville. Rittenhouse was found not guilty on all charges after he shot three people at a protest in Kenosha, Wisconsin in 2020, killing two, injuring one. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joins us from downtown where community activists gathered about this. Bree. Yes, about 50 people gathered outside of the federal courthouse downtown Jacksonville today, and they were telling me that this verdict was very disappointing for them. They were saying that if Kyle Rittenhouse were a black male, the verdict would have been different. Dozens gathered by the federal courthouse downtown to protest the not guilty verdict of Kyle Rittenhouse. He testified he acted in self-defense after killing two men and injuring a third at a protest against police brutality in Kenosha, Wisconsin last year. So what do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! So what did you think about the Rittenhouse decision that was made yesterday? I thought it was disgusting. Christina Kittle is with the Jacksonville Community Action Committee and helped set up this rally today. I mean, we all saw the kid go to the protest with a weapon. Uh, I don't understand how he can claim he felt unsafe or that he was being attacked if he traveled to be there. State Representative Angie Nixon also attended the rally. I feel a sense of disappointment, a sense of fear, because vigilantism prevailed in the Rittenhouse trial. And so I'm scared that vigilantism is going to prevail in the Ahmaud Arbery trial. So And now those activists are saying that they hope the Department of Justice does justice for the man that died in the shooting. He's saying they're saying that this verdict should have been different. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.